Imagine being called a foreigner in your own country by a foreigner. Well, that's the predicament of a male Zambian national who has chosen to remain anonymous. The man was on Saturday tent away from a Chinese restaurant and shop called Lankins in Lusaka's Long Acres for being black and a foreigner in his own country. If you have ever been to Zambia, this will not be shocking to you. I know some Zambians are going to get offended for me saying this, but Zambians are foreigners in their own country. I mean, going to Zambia for the first time, it was shocking to me to see Chinese signboards everywhere. Everything were in Chinese. How could you allow foreigners to come and establish businesses in your country and everything is in their own language? Something like this will never ever happen in China. This is why I'm saying that Zambians are foreigners in their own country. If you live in Zambia, you can testify what I'm saying that when you go to Lusaka, almost every Chinese signboard is in Chinese. They're advertising in Chinese. So how can the citizen of the country understand what they are saying, which makes you what? A foreigner in your own country. Yo, what up beautiful people, it's your boy Mr. Ghana baby, right here in Lusaka. Like, I'm moving around the city trying to get some shot, but what I'm seeing, I mean, this is going to be my last video before I leave this country. It's kind of crazy because I feel like I'm back again in China. This is just super crazy. What? Have you ever been to China? No, we've never been to China. Oh, oh yeah, we've, China. Be, we've been to China. We're already in China. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's the first time. It's the first time. It's the first time. Chinese people everywhere. Chinese construction everywhere. Let me ask you a question. When was your last time before China? The last time in China was around June. Two. You, uh, and two, not today in China as well. And today I'm in China. Like, you see, the see, I love the road, man. Can you guys see? It was like everywhere. I see Chinese characters everywhere. But, I mean, Zambia. This is unbelievable. That was 7 December during my stay in Lusaka, Zambia. Let me tell you something. I have nothing against immigration. But sometimes you just have to respect the culture, the rules and regulations of the country that you visit. How can you be traveling to somebody's country and you disrespect them by making signboards in your own language? I mean, you will feel the presence of China right after what? The arrival in Kenneth Kaunda International Airport. I mean, their new airport is built by China. And then even if you get out of the airport, you will see Chinese signboards. Like everything is in Chinese. I got proofs. I was there. When you drive out of the airport, that's when you see a signboard welcoming you to Lusaka, Zambia with a Zambian flag and a Chinese flag saying that work together and win together. But my question is, are you guys really working together? That is what I want to know. I never wanted to talk about this because I realized that anytime I identify a problem in an African country and I talk about it, the people living in that country attack me. I mean, there's so many things that are happening in African countries that sometimes when I see it, I become so sad and I would love to talk about it. But because of this unity among us, anytime you talk about it, they will tell you that you are not from our country. Your country also have problems. So talk about your country's problem. But I just want to tell Africans that when we come together as one, a Zambian problem is my problem. I mean, it feels so sad to see the dominance of Chinese people in Lusaka, Zambia. And at the same time, seeing that they've established their own bank, that is Bank of China's presence in what? Zambia. So which means all the money that they are making in Zambia, they're taking it straight to what? China, because they have their own bank. So it feels so easy to make money and deposit in the Bank of China and the money goes straight to China. Is this what we call win-win cooperation? wake up Africans. Imagine being called a foreigner in your own country by a foreigner. Well, that's the predicament of a male Zambian national 
who has chosen to remain anonymous. The man was on Saturday turned away from a Chinese restaurant and shop called Lankins in Lusaka's Long Acres for being black and a foreigner in his own country. The man was in the company of his Chinese wife and now explains. The two other guys were in front of us. They went in, this, uh, Chinese nationals, they went in. So when my wife and I were going in, there was this lady behind the counter. She was uh, shouting something, she was yelling something. So for me, I, was, I, I just looked at her, but then I couldn't understand. So I walked in again, then she repeated the same phrase, the same phrase. So at this time, I looked at my wife because she was looking in my direction. So I looked at my wife, my wife had stopped moving. So I asked her, what, what is she saying? So the lady said, foreigners are not allowed in this shop. So I thought to myself, in my mind, I was like, oh, how, how does she know my wife is, you know, not from Zambia? Then my wife said, oh, she means you are not allowed in the shop. That's when I was confused. Foreigner? I am the foreigner in this situation. So she said, uh, then uh, my wife asked the lady, what do you mean? She said, oh, no, the Chinese can come inside. You have to wait outside. You can't come inside. The wife of the Zambian national has described the actions taken by the Chinese nationals against her husband as ridiculous. I don't think Chinese, I mean like, racism is everywhere. But then, like in this situation, it's just a little bit unusual, you know. How can you ask, uh, how do I put it, how, how can you say that foreigner cannot come in when they are in a foreign country? It's ridiculous. I mean, like, they are not supposed to behave like that. I asked the couple to accompany me to the said restaurant and shop so that I can independently verify the allegations levered against the Chinese business firm. In the shop, there was only one female Chinese national at the counter and busy on her phone. We proceeded in the shop. And when going out, I asked the Chinese lady, with the help of the Zambia national's wife for translation, if I could see the owners of the shop so that I can find out about the allegations leveled against them. But the lady outrightly refused. When she refused, I asked her whether it's true or not that they turn away blacks in their shop. In her response, the Chinese national explained that this decision has been arrived at in view of the coronavirus, but denied turning away any black person a contradiction. Okay, so basically she said that normally they allow the uh, Zambian, they will come here, they will like they, normally they are like the driver of the Chinese Chinese national. So the Chinese national will come and buy stuff, the uh, Zambian driver will be waiting outside, then they will be like carrying the stuff from here to the car, not to go inside. But if you say those who are like they insist to go in, they will still allow. Mm. So the Zambian drivers, the black ones, they wait from here. Yes. Then yeah. the, the Chinese, they go inside, they, go inside ah. they buy, then they get the stuff from here. Mm. So when you came here, they thought he's also a driver for you. Is, 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 is that what they thought? But the one, the one yesterday is not this. Simply put, the Chinese are saying blacks transmit the coronavirus. How painful can that be? Zambia slowly turning into a Chinese colony? Has Zambia been secretly sold to the Chinese while citizens were still asleep? Could it be that our leaders know something about the Zambia-China dealings which we don't know? Can a Zambian behave like this in China? Hmm, this is quite strange and strange indeed. This is quite strange and strange indeed. I mean, this is what I've been talking about. There is nothing like transparency between Africa and China relationship. The things that some Chinese are doing in Africa are the things that no African dared to do in China. If there is no transparency, then there will never be a mutual respect between Africa and China. Because you and I don't know whatever is going on between the two. Because they will disrespect you in their various countries and whenever they come into your own country they also disrespect you i'm sorry to say this but africans are becoming 
one of the most disrespected race in the entire world. They disrespect us abroad and in our own countries too, they keep on disrespecting us. What have we done to deserve this? This is not the first time something like this is happening in the continent. I think I talked about this in 2017 where a group of Chinese were disrespecting Zambians in Zambia and uploading it on Chinese social media, making fun of the people living in Zambia. I wrote a letter to the ambassador to China and I never got a response. And until I got a chance to visit Lusaka, that is when I got to understand why I never got a response from the ambassador. Because they are foreigners in their various countries. It's your boy Mr. Ghana baby. And if you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to share. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And um, I'm going to see you in the next one. I am my.